The Sea Hunter is novel because it's autonomous, and being autonomous, it doesn't need a crew. Thus, for the Sea Hunter, the designers could remove all the equipment needed for people. One of the most important considerations in the design of the Sea Hunter is that it's unmanned. And in being unmanned, it avoids many of the restrictions of a conventional vessel. So in the design of a conventional vessel, it is built around the people inside it. It is built to protect them. And you no longer have that requirement in an unmanned vehicle like the Sea Hunter, which allows it to reduce the weight and to go further and explore further. Removing the features required on a manned ship means a lighter, sleeker design for the Sea Hunter. The Sea Hunter is equipped with two diesel engines. These diesel engines require a relatively large amount of fuel. Of the 135 tons of weight of the Sea Hunter, 40 tons of that is fuel. Now that sounds like a lot of fuel, and it is, because it allows the Sea Hunter to operate autonomously for 90 days without resupply. During those 90 days, the Sea Hunter can travel up to 18,500 kilometers. So it can travel all the way from San Diego to Guam without need for refueling. Additionally, during that period, the Sea Hunter can reach speeds of up to 27 knots, a little over 50 kilometers an hour. So the Sea Hunter's exceptional design features mean that it is intended to operate in incredibly rough seas. It can operate at up to sea state 5, which is where waves can be as high as 2 meters and winds can be as fast as 39 kilometers per hour. Each Sea Hunter costs around $15,000 to $20,000 to run per day, while the Destroyer costs over $800,000 to run per day. So the Sea Hunter is not only more efficient, it's cheaper.